Hello YouTubers, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, this Cub Cadet, what I did to fix it and the mistakes I made and hopefully I can share things with you that you'll learn from. Um, it's a Kohler uh, Courage 20. Um, bought the mower for 100 bucks because it wouldn't start, wouldn't run. Guy said it needed a new motor. Got it home, got the battery charged, tried to start it, the starter wouldn't turn it over. So I pulled the starter, looked at the starter, the brushes were good, so I put it back in, no, no help. Uh, pulled the plug, ran the motor, it would spin the motor without the plug, but as soon as you put the plug in, the starter didn't have the balls. So I figured I needed a new starter. I found a guy locally, bought a whole motor with a cracked block, a Courage 20, and figured I'd use the parts off that. So I installed the other starter, and no luck. It didn't have the balls to turn it over. Um, so I pulled the cover off and um, there was grass, mouse turds, all kind of stuff underneath the cowl here which in turn the engine didn't cool properly and overheated. Therein lies the problem um, and how I discovered the problem and fixed it. Um, these things have a compression release mechanism on them and these are the cams off the other motor and this is the compression release mechanism um, these were good inside of my motor and the motor that I bought they were good as well um, I thought that was the issue pulled the um, top uh, cover off the motor and got in there and found that everything was okay the overheating actually damaged the valves um, or the exhaust valve in particular, all the debris that settled on top of this head and motor uh, didn't allow it to cool, so it overheated. And what happens is, is that the compression release mechanism somehow allows a good starter to turn the motor. Um, but if the compression release isn't working, the starter doesn't have the balls to turn the motor over. So, in my trying to investigate, these were good. I was at you know I was at a loss to figure out what was going on so I called a local Cub Cadet dealer and talked to a great mechanic who was awesome in terms of sharing information and um, certainly gave me more than I was looking for and uh, I appreciated his time and effort so I'm going to share with you what I had learned um, he said a common problem when these things overheat is the valve guides uh, the exhaust valve guide in particular I don't know if you can see in there but if you look at your unit and you're having problems with uh, it's it turning over and you've clearly found that it overheated due to the debris underneath there if you look in underneath each valve spring you'll see the guide in there the intake guide is seated properly my exhaust valve guide is not and if you can get in there and look um, I don't know if the camera will get in there it won't um, where I can give you a great view of it but um, you will see that it is actually higher, probably by about at least a half an inch, give or take. That didn't allow the valve to depress properly. So if it didn't uh, open properly, it couldn't relieve the compression to allow the starter to turn it over and everything to work properly. So anyways, the engine that I bought for 50 bucks, I took the head from, put it on that motor, and everything worked fine. But the mechanic from the local dealership told me that this can be repaired um, without removing it from the motor. You know, you're obviously going to clear all your stuff off the front end, you know, get your valve cover off. Once your valve cover off, is off, this will be exposed. Pull your spark plug and modify some sort of compression tester or, you know, jam a hose in there. Um, and attach it to a compressor and put some pressure, uh, pressurized air will keep the valves from dropping in as you try to depress the spring. The, the, the gist of what you're going to try to do is depress the valve spring, pull this little clip out, this U-shaped clip underneath here, then all your, your spring and your uh, will come off and that will leave you with an exposed valve and the valve guide. What you would do is take like a uh, socket or something that would slip over the top of the valve but seat on top of the guide and you're going to try to reset that valve basically pushing it back in, you know, tapping it with a hammer 
etc. And getting it back down there, we don't beat it and damage it. You, the, the goal is to get it back into place. And then if you peen around it with a small punch, that'll help to keep it in place. But what caused it to creep out was the excessive heat. But um, if you don't have the luxury of a cheap replacement, this can be repaired doing that. Put it all back together. He said it's a, temp it's a, it's a good fix. It's not the best fix. You can buy a new head or try to repair that. Um, obviously, you can pull the head off, too, if compressed air is not an option, and then uh, dismantle it and reset it. But that's what I encountered. I hope that information helps. Thanks for watching.